for sale at Boys Brass is something a little bit different. This is a single F horn made by Antoine Courtois. Of course, I'm not sure I'm saying that correctly in the French, but uh, the brand name can be seen right here. If I didn't say it correctly on the bill. This is a very old horn, uh, probably made in the later 1800s but it is in still good functional condition. I bought it as a uh, kind of a little bit of a collector's item, but at this point I'm not really in a place where I can keep it as I move. So I'm gonna go ahead and sell it. It is a an F horn single with piston valves and it's gonna be seen on the backside. <clears throat> it actually has a removable crook. Now this is the only crook that I have for this horn and it does stand in concert F. So it'd be like a normal modern horn uh, in key. It's not, I mean, for its age, it's in very good condition. It's not the greatest player, probably due to uh, the age and everything, but the valves still work. This can be seen here. They are left hand. Uh, make sure this crook is in there. They're left hand valves. They, they work pretty well. It's a little bit awkward to hold with the crook blocking the way, but. And overall it works well. It's a very, very small bore horn. It's got a lot of tarnish on it, a little bit of damage here. A few minor dents and dings, but I mean, considering the fact that it's well over 100 years old, very good condition. The mouthpiece does come out, it's not stuck. And you know, I, I don't know where this mouthpiece came from. It came with the horn when I bought it. Uh, it's in good shape. I, I can't prove that it's the original to the horn, uh, but I don't know. So anyways, here's a, a great little collector's item horn that does play, um, even though it's you know not nearly as good as any good modern horns, but it does play as collector's item and be a really neat uh, addition to anybody's personal horn collection or maybe even a museum. I don't really know if it's of that quality or not, but it could be. Feel free to contact me with any questions you have.